Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Charles Crawl, the PR director of the of ARCA. How's it going? It's uh, it's going, Casey. We're ready to get going here, baby. Of course, we got the big ARCA test this weekend uh, down there, uh, down in Daytona. Before we get to that, we do want to obviously uh, mention, obviously, the news with this with this weekend with the passing of uh, of Tim Steele. Yeah, that was uh, maybe not wholly unexpected. Uh, Tim had, had been facing some health issues uh, over the course of the last couple of years, but it, it's still uh, just a very, very sad story. Um, you know, Tim, uh, as many people know, was injured in a, in a practice crash. Uh, right before he would have clinched the the 1997 ARCA championship, which which he did end up clinching, but um, you know he he was injured in that testing crash in Atlanta, and you know really fought the lingering effects of that the rest of his life. And um, you know, it, it, as sad as it is to think about what his career would have been like, you know, if not for that injury, I, I'm. I, I like to think about what his life would have been like, you know, without that injury and, you know, what his, his loved ones, you know, how much time they would have had with him and his daughters and grandchildren. And uh, yeah, just a sad story, Casey. And, um, you know, but you, you can't say enough about a, a three-time champion, 41 time winner. Uh, I think he led, you know, something like 30% of all of the laps he, he ever contested um, one twenty, like 28% of the races that he was in. Uh, just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal record. Uh, a great guy, uh, and someone that we will uh, we will definitely miss in and around the Arca community. Um, yeah, just a very sad story. All right, um, let's uh, and obviously, and let's go to uh, of course the another start of another season. You know, with the Arca Test this weekend, uh, lots of cars, lots of drivers, including some names that everyone around the world would will, will recognize. Yeah, it's great to have Shane Van Gisbergen uh, testing or practicing with us. Um, you know, he's obviously going to be running a full uh, NASCAR Xfinity Series season with College Racing. Um, and the folks at Trackhouse Racing have put together a deal with him uh, and the, uh, the fine folks over that Pinnacle Racing group, Mark Webb and his group, uh, Shane Huffman, the crew chief over there. And uh, we expect a, you know, I don't know what their goals are in in this pre-race practice, Casey, but I know when we come back for the race, I, I expect Shane's going to be a, in the mix. Um, you know, obviously, a, a, just a world-class talent um, to be able to hop in a, a cup car in his in his series debut and and win that Chicago street course race. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. You know, Marco Andretti. You know, a lot of people don't remember this, uh, or, or they, they remember it, but they, it's kind of secondary to his Indy 500 win. But Mario Andretti is a Daytona 500 winner, you know, and uh, to have his grandson uh, coming in and racing, with, you know, pra- you know, I, I hope he's coming to race with us, but uh, participating in this pre-race practice, um, you know, and, and you know, the Andretti name has had a lot of success at Daytona, you know, from from Mario's win. In the 500, John Andretti won the the Pepsi 400 back in 1997 with with Kale Yarbrough. So, uh, yeah, the Andretti name has a quite a legacy there at Daytona International Speedway. And we'll see Marco carry that on this week. Yeah, uh, some of the uh, what are some of the other highlights we can uh, we can look out for this uh, this weekend when it comes to the test? Well, we've got a bunch of full time drivers that we will have down there with us. Um, you know, Amber Balkin just announced her entry uh, full-time here in 2024. Uh, she'll be driving the uh, surprisingly numbered 22 car for Venerini Motorsports uh, here in 2024. Um, you know, Christian Rose announced his full season plans earlier today. So we'll see him down there. Um, the, the Rev Racing teammates, Andres Perez and LeVar Scott, um, you know, interestingly, I think we'll see Carson Quapple down there. Carson is, you know, had a lot of success over in the cars tour. Um, you know, I think we have close to 80 drivers, Casey, and, and pretty close to 40 race cars down there. So it'll be a busy few days. Yeah, for sure. And of course, uh, there's also a handful of drivers that'll be down there as part of the uh, the Road to Daytona program. Yeah, you've got all of your 
uh, your reps from the East and the West, you know, Sean Hingarani, who oddly enough is representing the Arkham Menard series East, uh, although he is the West champion. Uh, and then you've got Tyler Reif coming out and representing uh, the Arkham Menards West. Uh, Justin Bonsignor, who was second in the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour point standings. Uh, Chase Berta, who was the uh, ASA CRA Super Series champion. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a really cool opportunity for those folks because, you know, we saw this with Greg Van Alst back when he was the CRA champion in 2019. You know, he came in and participated in the road to Daytona in 2020, uh, started racing with us in 2021. And in 2023, he was in victory lane there at Daytona International Speedway. So uh, he is literally the poster child for what the road to Daytona is all about. And uh, and I expect we'll see Greg back here this weekend as well. I know he's got two cars coming down to uh, the pre-race practice. Isaac Johnson, uh, a very another interesting story in and of himself, uh, will be down there uh, making some laps in the 34 car for that team. So, um, yeah, it's just it's going to be a really fun weekend. We just need Mother Nature to cooperate with us a little bit, Casey, and um, and we will hopefully see all uh, what seventy nine of those drivers out on the racetrack here this weekend. Yeah, there'll be uh, there's uh, there's quite a bit of it, and also I think part of the the Road to Daytona program. I think it's also the uh, correct me if I'm wrong the the ASA Midwest Tour champion uh, uh, and also the ASA Southern Super Series. Uh, um, those series that will also be represented this weekend as well. That is correct. So, all right. Um, also, just another handful of teams. What's it just like to have all these teams uh, down there competing for this uh, this annual big test that you've had every single year? Yeah, it's going to be great, man. Um, you know, I don't know that we're at record numbers as far as participation. I know we're close. Um, and I think we might even see another name or two added to the list by the time we get down there. So it's going to be great, man. Um, you know, for all the naysayers out there who, who were saying, you know, Arca's, you know, it's dead and it's dying. It's not, <laughs> you know, we're, we're doing our deal. And, uh, this is part of what we do, man. You know, we give these, these folks, uh, an opportunity to come in and race at places like Daytona, Talladega, Michigan, and, and Kansas and Charlotte. And, um, you know, to, to start the season out uh, with with this many drivers interested and this many teams interested, um, it, it's a great way to start the year, man. And 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 I think we'll only have uh, more interest uh, when we come back uh, for the race. You know, I know we won't have 80 drivers entered uh, when we come back for the race, but uh, I think we'll see a few more race cars uh, down here. And, and I think we'll have a very competitive field and it's it's going to be a great way to kick the year off. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and obviously, obviously, there's still a lot, I mean, a lot of teams and, you know, also a lot of hints uh, as well to what Bob plans for next year bring. But, you know, also what can fans expect, you know, with this season and, you know, what is it looking like as, uh, as we get ready for Daytona? Of course, the East Series and the West Series will also be kicking off as well. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a good year for everybody, Casey. You know, we've got a, a, a very solid season out West. Um you know, a return to Tri-City uh, Raceway up there in, in Washington. Um, you know, the, the two races at Kevin Harvick's Kern Raceway, I think there's going to be a lot of excitement around those, Casey. Um, Irwindale, always. <laughs> what can you say about Tim Huddleston and those folks down over there at Irwindale Speedway? I mean, just he does such a terrific job with those events. And uh, I think we'll see a full house for both of those. Um you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that double header day uh, and it's going to be a, probably a triple header day, Casey, because it's it's Arkham Menard Series Championship Day at Toledo Speedway and then Arkham Menards West and Cars Tour West at All American Speedway later on that night. So uh, I'm looking forward to that day. I think there's going to be a lot of energy uh, in and around that entire day on you know both sides of the country. So uh, keep that one circled on your calendar. But uh, the West, it definitely has a lot of momentum to it. And, uh, and we're looking to get, uh, we're looking forward to getting 2024 kicked off on the right foot. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, mean, you bet, I don't know if you're in the Florida area right now, but you need, you probably need to get down there because uh, I don't know if you know this, but there is, uh, there's some, uh, 
there's some interesting weather coming up uh, up into the Midwest. So yeah, I've heard there's some interesting weather in the Midwest. I've heard there's some interesting weather down in the Florida area. Uh, I'm actually here in Charlotte right now, and there was some some tough weather here last night. So uh, yeah. I'm hoping Mother Nature gets her act together here over the course of the weekend. I I, I want to see some race cars on the racetrack, and I want to have a nice easy drive back home. So. Um, yeah, let's let's hope she gets it all out of her system here in the next 24 hours or so. All right. Charlie, thanks so much for the time as always. And we'll stay tuned for any updates regarding the ARCA test this weekend. You got it, Casey. Thanks.